Try me and you lunch me. G4 or that G5. I'm weed high without munchies and I'm popping off of that rose. I get underground like I'm Von Sway. My nigga, my name is Mo Shawn the Dog. And I'm a bang hard like I'm Non Trey. And I stay fresh with them foam on. Birds, let's get no play. The Wi Fi's like getting head to her face, timing me all day. And damn, I really want it. And I like to own it. Nick, knack, patty, whack. Give a dog and I bone it. So, big bank in my pocket. Double up with that rocket. Anybody out there thinking they topping my flow must be up on that nonsense. Shoulder, wrist, shoulder, wrist, shoulder, 
wrist. Big bank in my pocket and look. Shoulder, wrist, wrist, shoulder, shoulder, wrist, wrist. Shoulder. Big bank shoulder. in my pocket and hug. Shoulder, wrist, wrist, shoulder, shoulder, wrist, wrist. Shoulder. Big bank shoulder. in my pocket and hug. I'm talking about money I really got. You look at the front end, but really not. Call the Julian, might say you are. Your jury is fake with a rental car. Whip up with me, just might get a fall. I'm talking about hundreds of miles. Whip up with me, just might get a fall. I'm talking about hundreds of miles. Y'all took money, but that's short money. That's pinto compared to Porsche money. Big blocks, all money. Big knocks make me walk funny. Big money, my mojo. Play with me, that fogo. I'm all day with this play. It's shit that I see, that coco. My pockets are better than intimate. My mojo was counting on Benjamin. You look at the more than just feminine. You look at the sweeter than cinnamon. You feeling like you took the bring me. I'm sending them couple of miles. You feeling like you took the bring me. I'm sending them couple of miles. Gonna boy, not Joe Smo. Y'all don't know me, but y'all know where I solo. I mean, dolo. Unless it's wrecked town with my cholos. Frontin' all, that's a no no. Got on the string like a yo yo. Y'all fish in a fish tank. Show the wrist, that's big bank in my pocket. Double up with that rocket. Anybody out there thinking they popping my flow must be up on that nonsense. Shoulder, wrist, shoulder, wrist, shoulder, wrist. Big bank to my pocket and hurt. Heroes headquarters. Heroes No real questions? All right. Nah, I mean, we didn't... Did you want to... But did you tell him hello? You said hello? You said you you said who you are and stuff like that? Come on, man. Okay. Don't ask him no biggie. No ask him no biggie, no two... I, listen, you know what, Slims, let them do what they do because it's about knowing what's going on around you, right? If you don't know what's going on around you, then let it roll. Let it roll. Do you know? Do you know when... When I had spoke to Slims, I told him to bring us on air. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> now, he, now he went with the whisperer. He now. Went, he went with the whisperer. We're on deck. Here we go. It's Thursday. Hip hop point of view. Six to eight. Damn it. It's crazy. Let's get involved. You were saying something, Bravo. I was saying something about nothing. Oh, okay. All right. Just checking, man. Super love to. The amazing cast of characters we have today, right? <laughs> um, hopefully, we get this rocking, nice and simple. Um, Slims gave us. Let's. I want to read this on air. Can you pass me that paper? I want to talk about this on air, if we can. So right before we walk in, Hip Hop Point of View gets a a pamphlet <laughs> from Slims on what needs to go down. Okay. Um, I like these categories, right? We got we got rebranding. I'm not gonna say anything about it. Just the just the um categories. We got revenue streams, always a good category. Small changes and simplified. Is small changes and simplified the same thing, Slims? No. <laughs> I said no, they're not. We got small changes, big changes, sim simple changes, so we're good to go. So, events. Let's rock and roll. Um, Philly Roots Picnic. What's it, Roots Picnic? Um, a matter of fact, let me let you, let you finish up what's going on. I'm trying to help her so she can fix the mic. Okay. Let's let them do it. Okay. You got it? Roots Picnic? Roots Picnic. So, let's talk about... Let's talk about um, the way we distract ourselves. <laughs> ADD. So, what was wrong with the microphone? It was not attached. So, the guests would have came in and it would fell on their lap. Okay. It was, and then it was, we looking real. Oh, it was off the thing? Yes. Okay. All right. So, safety precautions. Okay. That's what Slims is here for. Right. <laughs> Slims, didn't, Slims didn't notice it. Slims didn't Slims, notice it. Slims, could you tend to the mic, please, That's while right. we do our show? <laughs> So do you mind That's while right. we do Coach our to the rescue. So um, Roots Picnic was great. Um, more importantly, the performers um, I learned a lot from. 
um, Jeezy, Solange, Fat Joe. Those are my primary people I saw. Um, first of all, let's talk about Jeezy's catalog, right? Jeezy did about 20. Whoa. About 20, 20 songs. songs? That I knew. Yeah. Like, yeah. They want, there's not one song that I couldn't have recited. <laughs> no. And, he, and there's a couple of songs he didn't do. He didn't do um, My President's Black. I was going to just mm. say that. I was he didn't do sure. First Time Gonna Stack the Dope. Then yeah. what? He didn't do that. The original Snowman. Yeah. There was so oh, many. I used to I'm have like, the, um, the Snowman yeah. shirts. Oh, yeah? When they came oh, out. So you was a part of that. Um, but one thing, of- one thing, and, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to criticize them, but I know when we, were, when we went to Cypher Circuit, Cypher Circuit used to have these shirts that said, um, stop rapping over your vocals, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I learned something watching Jeezy, right? When your catalog is crazy, yeah, you might have to put your vocals on. Yeah, because you can forget. Not, yeah, you can't forget, bless you, there's so many. There's so many songs. So many songs, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of crazy. But um, I understand him putting his vocals on. Yeah. I can see that yeah. because it's too much, too tired. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I think especially I think especially when you're that big of a star, yeah. mm-hmm. you can do it because you have the the time to practice mm-hmm. and to really get it right where, you know, like the vocals is overshadowing, mm-hmm. you know, the back vocals is overshadowing you mm-hmm. and it kind of like mm-hmm. clashes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. I was like, he he was he had. One, I have to put him in the conversation as a good stage show. Great yeah. stage yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Great I've seen show. him perform always, once, and it was he brought the house down at the Barclays yeah. Center. I've yeah. never seen him. I've Amazing. Like, I've never seen him have anything whack like that, I think. Solange. How was that? I'm, I only know Planes in the Sky. What is it? Is that the name of the song? Um, I only know. I knew it will wait. Okay. What's that song? I don't know, but... Sound, sound pretty yeah, good. Sounds, sound yeah. pretty good. On the remix, he yeah, is pretty much. Be. He sounded good. You sounded good. Just well, it was just just a brief little yeah, something. Real quick. But um, <laughs> she she did well. <laughs> um, I didn't I didn't really stay for your boy Neptune's. Um, oh. Pharrell was there. Yeah. I, Pharrell, he's cool. I just I don't I wouldn't I I can't say that I was going to see him. Yeah. But um, fat. I went to see Jeezy, Lil Wayne, and um, Fat Joe. And Fat Joe, but. Lil Wayne didn't come. He he had to cancel. Said he was yeah. sick. Um, Fat Joe did his thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, hey Jazz, Hello. how you doing? Peace, hey, how's it going? Like ah, <laughs> 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 oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they ain't get here yet. So what, they get what you want to <laughs> do? What you want to do? It's up to you, Jazzy. It's, it's, it's a, nah. It's a um. It's a new group out of Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So what you want to do? You, let's do it. They let's do it. Let's get it. Wrong day with the <laughs> wrong day, wrong time. You get with the wrong day. There we go. <laughs> Said he just pointed you in the direction. Yeah, come on in. Jazzy is. <laughs> she shakes up. She got stuff to pull out. She got stuff she gonna pull out. She shakes it up, man. She, like the the not, live and all that. I'm not asking you to take a selfie. I got something that can just put it on there and just you know stuff like that. Let me. That's what's but up. Can I introduce myself? Y'all just. Yeah, we right at you, Jazzy. We right at you. Yeah, what's going on? I'm, you see what it is now. Who? How many of them is it? There's four of them, but they're not coming while you here. So they okay. chop at this they point. Chop, they yeah. chop. So we got so you, extra time. Yeah, you get your yeah, session. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. Hello. Jazz, what's up? T- say your name, even though you think Bravo. I, Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Coach. Coach. All mm. right. The little. You like a Jamaican bass player. Like, <laughs> you know how in the band, in the band, the littlest nigga be the one there with you the go. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> coach. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's Coach. I'm E. 
Hi, Thank you for having me. Thank Absolutely. you. It's good to see you again. You tried to handle me too on the spot. <laughs> I, I was like, oh. That's I what's you, up. I hit you with the. I gave like, you some shoulders. You shook me off. Yeah. <laughs> fast. <laughs> so let's get right to it. I don't need the headphones. I can't hear y'all. There you I, go. I work That's Sal. You know Sal sorry. over there. So good. Hi, Sal. Sal. I'm sorry. I left you out. I thought, I thought you was just. <laughs> you just here? You, just, you thought he was window dressing? <laughs> I thought he was just holding the, the camera for the live. And you know how sometimes people get sunned yeah. in the crew? <laughs> like. So we getting people uh, chopped. You thought he was son doula? <laughs> this is No, I'm just saying, you know how like it's always it, like I could give a lot of scenarios and mm -hmm. it would make people feel bad about their position. But we're all a different piece on everybody's True. chessboard. Mm -hmm. Because on somebody that. else's chessboard, I might be a king, a queen, mm -hmm. you might be a king, but then we might be a pawn on somebody yeah, else's yeah. board. So that's why. I like those glasses, Jazzy. What's, yeah. what's going Thank on? You. What those? What are the kind of glasses are those? Dida. 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 Everybody tends to think they're the gazelles. Yeah, I thought they were the gazelles. Yeah, as well. I, I was. I would always try to be a tiny bit different a, a because if ahead. you don't notice, then mm. you'll assume mm. they're that. But mm. if you look closely, then you'll be like, oh, it's not that. Yeah, they're fly. So like those. That's. that's Coach. So Jazzy, what's going mm -hmm. on? How you Gems doing? Gems and jewels. Oh, yeah, I know. She's been dropping it since, she walked, jewels, through, yeah. since she walked through the door. And Gems the, and jewels. Well, first, day. first, first things first. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to Jenna. Uh, yeah, yeah Jenna. shout out to Jenna. She's the reason I'm here. I, mm -hmm. I, um, I'm working with her on the PR side of my yeah. career, yeah. and mm -hmm. she's assisting me with a lot of other mm -hmm. things. So I'm thankful for that. Mm -hmm. And um, my. Yes, she yes. She's a wonderful person. Yes, she is. Great. Um, June twentieth is my birthday. Uh big birthday party mm. situation. If you log on to DJ Jazzy Joyce dot US, mm. you you can RSVP. I know nothing about my birthday party <laughs> at all. Surprise. Like dead Yeah, yeah, this is they're really doing a great job at mm. it. Mm. Um, even if I know you on a personal tip, my family, everything, there's either a number or the website, R S V P yeah. get mm. the information and just let me actually be surprised. This is my 50th. I celebrate. Ooh, happy yeah. early birthday. So, yeah, thank you. 50. Thank you. Wow. I know, I know it's weird to say that out loud. And some people was like, oh, you may not want to say that. No, girl, I'm good. I'm good. There's nothing we could do. It's part of life. Like, why would I be in shame of, of that? And I would want young people mm -hmm. to understand that you don't have to look crunchy. Yeah. yeah. And old. Yeah. Or, look, or look, be, you know or I mean? not be vibrant, yeah. or into like. You can keep a young celebrate spirit. It. You got keep a energy. young spirit. The energy is there. Yeah. The energy is there. So celebrate. what's your secret? You, you you look so young. You know you still have the um, same energy. Is it a diet thing? Is it a? It's it's a combination of diet, uh, main, maintenance of stress level, mm -hmm. and uh, understanding how much. You know those things that you take in can can affect it's in, yeah, yeah it can affect you. so you start regulating some mm. things mm. that's just not working for your existence and you'll see the difference mm. and it definitely diet mm. i can't sit here and say anything <laughs> could work for any yeah. particular person but you gotta slow mm. down on a lot of the things that are bad because 99 percent of the stuff is mm. no bueno mm. but you're chemically conditioned to seek it and want it yeah. yeah and feel that you need it and getting past that point of understanding that like when you clean out your palate and you go back to certain things and you taste it you'll be you might get angry oh yeah and that'll make yeah. you not want to get sick it, it, either or yeah. end mm -hmm. or both mm -hmm. but definitely if you can notice the difference on something that you've been consuming for a long time but you've kind of gotten away from it and when yeah. you go back to it you mm. can mm. realize or well, vice versa <gasps> something that you're not typically you typically don't eat mm -hmm. cleanse out your palate you taste it and you all of a sudden fall in love with it mm. right right yeah. it's the same yes on that end too but i was just speaking about the things that you know yeah. you grew up on and you don't realize how damaging yeah. yeah 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 so so we want to thank you for a couple of things. Okay. Ready? 
Um, hey, he got a mm-hmm. got a list. We got a list. I, got, I still, I got didn't list. even. I still. I'm gonna take this, but I still didn't. I'm gonna save what I'm doing for the at the end or the wrap up before the uh, late yeah. group comes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, <laughs> the late group. <laughs> <laughs> the Shots fired. Like I like that. You're dealing like with a group. professional in life, <laughs> right like the here. They don't. Yeah, uh, no. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. You're a professional in life. Uh, you you take er, you. I just really like how you prioritize it you have it's 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 a matter of time management skills Mm -hmm. the earlier on in life that you understand that and get a grip on it it will make your life much better yes because you won't you'll be ahead of the clock versus rushing always having that that. and that's part of some of the things that i was discussing yeah in terms of what affects you Mm -hmm. yes Sometimes see, that's the stress level. Uh, that right, you don't it. even realize yeah. is is you. Yeah, <laughs> you just Doing get up a little <laughs> earlier, like, <laughs> yeah. or leave a little earlier, yeah. or you know, prep yourself. Or prep prep yourself. So like, I like the last. Leave a little juggling. earlier. Leave I like. Little. So you don't have to be juggling. Google not just for sneakers mm. but look and see what the parking situation may look yeah. like or or be or ask yeah. you mm. as i'm coming to you what's the parking situation like so then you can accommodate time on yeah, that exactly. so when you need to be somewhere we mm. live in a tri-state area that is a living breathing machine of traffic mm-hmm. yes at different days it's more intense than others mm-hmm. In that understanding yeah. of it, it's all numbers after that. Yes. And communication so, and finding out, inquiring. But Because you might come in and yeah. then you didn't know the CEO of yeah. this company was coming. Now yeah. traffic is blocked. You're in. Right. Yeah. And that's another thing. I've, I've canceled meetings because it would be like, okay, girl, did you know Obama's coming in town? Like, yeah, we rap. ain't got no business going old oh, yeah. and nowhere. Yeah. Like, we got to reschedule. Yeah. If you've ever... and. If you've ever been caught in the presidential traffic ever in your life, you don't ever want that to ever happen to you, <laughs> ever. That's a lot of evers. Yes. But it makes you, when you hear it on Think the news, wonder, yeah. so-and-so's coming to town, guess what, girl? I have to see you next week. Yeah. 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 Transit. Mm-hmm. Not, yeah. Get your yeah. transit yeah. game Everything yeah. changes. Yeah. So that's, you see how it's a, it's mm-hmm. a, yeah. It's a domino it, effect. It, yeah. It's a domino effect. It's just it's it's everything. Because and, uh, and a lot of people don't understand and realize that so your with schedule that being is saying, one schedule. So with that being said, it's a disrespect to the idea of the fact that you guys get up early enough, do whatever it is that you need to do within your lives to get yourselves together, to groom yourselves, to take care of your families, your cars, your whatever, and get down here in a timely manner and be here. Exactly. The least... The other person can do on the other end is the baton. And that's what happens with certain people Mm -hmm. not wanting to deal with certain people Mm -hmm. because it's a disrespect to the time, Mm -hmm. each other's time. Crazy. Can we get some some applause for that? Let's go. Please. So here's a list of the things we want to thank you for. Right? First, (laughs) 17 years later, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Um... My first experience was was with you in 2000. I hope and I wasn't mean because you, was, <laughs> you were, but I probably was real and raw. You were great. Did you I teach great. you something? You did teach me something. What Thanks. you did teach me was w- w- I had hired you to do a party for me, mm-hmm. and you were DJing for a party, and um, it was in the Bronx Red Lounge. Did you go to that? Yeah. I went to that. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was a great really? turnout. Um, did I kill it? You killed it. <laughs> Thank you. Not only did you kill it, you gave us a shout out. Because you were on um, Hot 97 at that time. Okay. So, I was, sorry. Hey, let you me have to mention that. Hey. Real quick. Hey. <laughs> but can I say this? Just, just know, just know lit. Lit. that I probably got in trouble for doing that. See, and this I is did. why I got to thank you. That, but I didn't get to thank you after that. But this is why we need to talk about these, you know, get the opportunity to talk. Exactly. People don't realize. Just like he got in trouble just now. Yeah. 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 Oh. For, right, yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. And I'm gonna get in trouble for you, Jassy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get another letter. I'm gonna get another letter. It's fine. It's a no, sacrifice. No, no. It's we'll a tell sacrifice. Them, Jazzy. Tell them no. I said, tell them I said, stop playing. It's me. <laughs> they slaved me out enough. You know what I'm saying? You let that one go. No, so, so, and you were great. Shout one, to one, one of the great things. 
Oh, let's go rack it up. Rack it up. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just no, bill no, us, no, man. No, no. I'm gonna no. give you money ahead. We're gonna pay you ahead. <laughs> no, got about four more. No, I ain't. <laughs> Jazz, you got four no, more. No, I'm not. No, <laughs> no, I ain't gonna say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's the late group? <laughs> <laughs> Can we reset? Get them in, <laughs> Jesse. Get, get them in here. Get them in here. I'm out. <laughs> you were you were so great. Um, Thank you. You were you you definitely. Well, one thing I liked, and I didn't realize at that time, but I realized it now. Mm-hmm. Um, you handled your own business. I dealt with you, mm-hmm. and and paid you. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Contract signed you, mm-hmm. and that resonated with me about two years ago. I was like, "Yo, I, I didn't realize like, that yeah. there was no middleman, no nonsense. It was jazzy." And um, I was warming up my word. I came early. Came early, like, knocked it out. You shouted us. It was it was fantastic. So thank you. I want to thank you for, you for your, that. Right, and thank you for your support. Because mm-hmm. let me tell you this: mm-hmm. what people don't realize is that one of the sacrifices, the many sacrifices. You know, when we, when I got the opportunity to do the radio show, mm. it was like, okay, you got to work with her and you got to work with her, which were two totally different strangers. Mm-hmm. And you're going to take the salary of one person and split it with two, meaning between myself and Coco. I heard that. That was crazy. Yeah. So um, whenever I got support in the streets, it, it's... Mm. Was that a sacrifice you were willing to take because it's, of the... A, no, we didn't know no better. We was making <laughs> history and we was doing... A, remember, it's, mm. they didn't, it's a lot of things that never happened before. So they mm. didn't know how to utilize us. We didn't know how to maximize yeah. the moment. Mm. See this... You understand what Would I Would you have gave up the opportunity to maximize the, the financial moment? Well, the financial moment is it, with, it was laced in the payola mm. i never took payola, payola for the 15 years I, I wasn't involved in that so my level Ooh. of inta- yeah that's a, you're right i said when i think a back breath. right girl i wouldn't wow. even be here talking to you i'd still be digging up old money <laughs> 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 like so <laughs> right wow so you understand so mm. much i did that for me because when you got so much energy coming at you, people stalking you mm, outside the yeah. station, this, that, that, that. <laughs> if I chose to play your record, it wasn't, and it didn't have anything to do with that. It was mm. because you I really, wanted to. Right. You wanted that's to why. Play. And I stuck to it. And it also made it so that that's a lot of the reps, the record reps, I didn't feel like I had to be like, what are we talking about? Just mm. give me the record. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'll make my decision, but we don't need to do a whole lot of because you're not you're not doing nothing. But just give me the record, exactly. And you don't need to set decision. it up and prep it no, like it's the make, hottest at this nah, region. Try, you know what? I used to hate <laughs> when they used to be like, "Oh, so and so." I'm not gonna say nobody else from over there. <laughs> <laughs> Save but, us some money, Thank right? You. <laughs> but I, I, when I realized it, I, I, so mm-hmm. I got it. But when they would say, "Oh, so and so is playing it," and it, I'm like, I don't care Mm. Mm. because it's not governing my decision making. Yes. So then when, you know, when you truly understand what you're doing in terms of what I was doing, like when you look at artists like Ron Browse and Mm. Webstars and everything that we were in, well, I was partly instrumental Mm. in putting my foot in the door and putting that energy out there because They didn't really have the. They had bags to, for prom- promo. But there's. I'm not saying that, they didn't have any budgets or anything. But it's much easier when you have help. Yeah, and help That's in it. a space. You were in a space, space right? Yeah. That was impactful. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. You know, once, I was removed from that situation. Then the people who I assisted mm-hmm. realized the value, mm-hmm. yes, of my existence. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize what I was doing and in a sense, meaning how I was influential. Let's say if I put something into the system at those late hours, when mm-hmm. they bumped us down, when okay. Mr. C took our little time slide, because mm-hmm. it it's a lot of stuff. Love always you. politics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always. So any, it's fine. It's, it's life. It's a growing process. Yeah. So down there, 
okay let, let me explain well y'all should know this about radio like mm -hmm. let's say if a commercial plays at 11 58 mm -hmm. versus after midnight mm -hmm. there's a time difference yes. mm -hmm. and uh, we all know that absolutely so once you go down to those later hours it's a little more freedom and stuff mm -hmm. so yeah. in the mm -hmm. freedom zone when they put me down, like anywhere i up down whatever i was like whatever just tell me what mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. exactly so yeah. down in the bottom i'm still shaking it up <laughs> <laughs> so in realizing what that does mm. they have to remove you because they want to control mm. the influx of yeah. things yeah so that you have to which is i wish that the dj culture did that meaning you have to pass a certain rites of passage to even get over here mm. kind of vibe. Mm. See what I'm saying? Because if that's mm. the case, it wouldn't be the lanes wouldn't be clogged with the weekend baby, a, a baby shower DJs all and the, the wedding. They taking up that wedding, like yeah, you know, it's a whole and then all the borrow equipment DJ. Oh, oh. borrow <laughs> anything DJs. I've I've run into people. It's so hilarious. I've DJed around. Well, it's not their fault, mm. but. I've DJed around people, and they're like, oh, my God, you're so amazing. I wish you could have done my this or this. And I've had even young DJ chicks and stuff. They'd be like, oh, that transition you did is so dope. And inside my head, I'm like, you exist because of me, and you don't even know it. I'm, you're standing next to somebody that could really yeah. help, but they don't know it because there's no there's no, no rites of passage. That's yeah. why. Had they would have had that, but they'd have been they like, "These are the people, sit, right? Yeah. These are the grandmasters, the senseis, mm -hmm. the ones that are have done things to make allow it. me to be in that mm -hmm. space." Bong, <laughs> <laughs> he got it. Hit him, hit him, <laughs> hit him, Slims. Yes, yes. So the yeah, one, it's big. Um, yeah. So next question. So let me let me jump into this. <laughs> let's see. Let's, this is what I'm talking about with Jazzy. Let's go. Let's get right into it. Yeah. Nah. So. One of the big things I always thought about, like, before you go into a spot to DJ, right? Like, mm -hmm. I've seen you DJ many places. Do that's, you? That's a blessing. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the see. crowd watching you. Right. Because <laughs> <Like, laughs> your Stop. point of view is yeah. different. Yeah. Like, you, I was there, yeah. and I was, I, like, I don't know why people don't talk to me more from that point of view, because mm. then if you tell me, so, so this is going to be an interesting dialogue. Yeah, so Th this is why this is hip-hop point of view, right? This right. is why this is the show. Yeah. So, <laughs> I look at you, I look at you come in, you set up, mm -hmm. you rock and roll, mm -hmm. but I always wondered, I said, for any DJ, particularly now I'm talking to you, do you case the joint? to see what like first five to ten songs you're gonna rock out uh, well okay my thought process on anything like anything that i'm about to play at mm. is based on a lot of things a whole lot of things who's the who's who's the promoter the, who's the promoter <laughs> who's the okay. majority of the crowd in the room i got mm. to know where they from mm. if, if they mostly uptown mm -hmm. brooklynish queens like mm -hmm. i gotta know and then i look at my ratio mm -hmm. of male to female mm -hmm. okay. because that's that and then the time of night which is still numbers mm -hmm. depends on where the le liquor has settled in mm -hmm. it's just oh yeah. you're doing Number the math yeah. so you're doing no, the math the, breaking the, breaking the, the thought process of yeah. a master is totally different than an amateur <laughs> It's yeah. a study. Oh, it's, it's true. A, this it's is a real walk fact. in. So HHPOV quotable. Yeah. <laughs> Get it down now. No, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. <laughs> so, also, I have to know who else is on the lineup with me as far as DJs, who's come before me, who goes Why? after me. Because I have to have myself ready for if he's before me and mm. he's a jerk, then he might try to burn me, which is cool. Mm. Because it's like, it's like, uh, kryptonite juice yeah. that i got <laughs> anti -crypt, like i it kind of like it's bad if you do that mm -hmm. if you don't respect and just hand the baton over mm -hmm. nicely because mm -hmm. then when you do it kind of too crazy then i gotta be like oh mm -hmm. so you got i have different scenarios in my mind ready for different scenarios mm -hmm. so how i'm gonna start out what i'm depend it all depends on if i'm the the DJ for the night, carrying the night. If I'm the opener, then I shape the room mm -hmm. however I want. But if I got to come behind somebody else, then I have to have, for me, and this is what I, you know, I occasionally try to teach mm -hmm. the art of DJing and everything. Mm -hmm. 
So I try to tell them have three scenarios for you to, to choose, prepare. To pre- yeah, like mm. what's the hardest thing to do when you're writing uh, anything mm-hmm. that is important or st- for a rapper starting a rhyme or how you go- it's usually what's the first line or what's yeah. the once you can figure out the how first to set thing, it off? yeah, you the yeah. rest is. You're like, absolutely look, right. I yeah, came intro. in the door, mm-hmm. said it yeah, yeah. before. Like, and everything dragon, follows. Like everything, everything just starts yeah. to follow. So mm-hmm. once you have these certain <laughs> tools, records that you know do certain things, yes, you can utilize them. So whatever the three choices are can give put mm-hmm. me in different directions mm-hmm. in terms of my options. Like if I want to have a, a reggae option on deck, like if he's doing whatever, whatever, yeah. to kind of reset the energy in the room and separate myself from the idea of him and you know i always want to separate the idea yeah. i want you to understand there's a different person on here right now <laughs> like so, there was a change of the guards yeah, just right now. like mm-hmm. so it's it's you gotta i'm, I'm using my life experiences yeah. to, to make mm-hmm. the decision mm-hmm. to prepare so it's never it's always um sp- spontaneous mm-hmm. but uh the but there blueprint. is some, there's but some preparation. Organic, the blueprint, the uh, blueprint skeleton is there yeah. for me to make. And you fill it in spontaneously. Yeah, so right. what's the three things? What's the three things they, you should they uh, DJ should prepare for? Three scenarios. It just it. I can't. My methodology is my methodology. Mm-hmm. Like no one boxer prepares the same way. Mm-hmm. So I just told you what mine was. It doesn't mean that it. It's okay. For everybody. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All it right. may not. Some some people may do different yes. things. They and they may not even think of it in that way. Maybe I've someone will listen to this and it'll reshape the way that yes. they approach going to their next gig. Yeah, that's, that's what I was that's thinking. That's what I yeah. would want. Is this is is your whole science of DJing comes from because you started at a young age? Mm-hmm. One. Mm-hmm. Basically, at the beginning of the hip hop um, build up. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. I wasn't the and first. I'm one of the first. But one of the first. That in carry, there. I, ta- yes. I carried that in torch there. along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and at a pivotal and, time, and too. Being, yeah. And mm-hmm. then yeah. being a female DJ. Mm-hmm. So, all of that goes into how you go into your DJ preparation and, and, and people. Not necessarily. They just have the equipment, but they're not DJs. Right, right. You they know, you're they a, mock. They mock versus studying. There's mm, a difference. Mm. There's a difference. Oh, mimic. Mimic. Mimic yeah. is excellent. Yeah. A better word. But so there's a difference in that. There's a way. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a good metaphor besides what they have done to our culture that would be. You just say mimic, exact, and, mimic and, and yeah. they copy. No, no, but I just want you to get to to understand yeah. the difference. Like, it's like me going on for me because I. It's like going on YouTube and googling how to do something, mm. and you doing it because you've seen it yeah, on yeah, Google. Yeah. Versus letting someone who they went to the went trade to, school, went to school, got the oh, license mm. and everything. Right. Yeah, that's like what, like makeup, yeah. like almost yeah. makeup when they have the makeup tutorials. Right, and anything and on, it, on YouTube. Even if even if those tutorials are really to be utilized for people who are studying, makeup artists mm. studying, not for you to just take that one little element and then you gotta study it. Yeah, like. And it's not you're not saying necessarily it's not necessarily a school thing. It's just a spending time, time to, to learn study to learn to, learn. Learn study. Yeah. to really learn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen, if you look back at yourselves from when maybe you first started doing interviews and mm-hmm. just everything, you look back at yourselves. Mm-hmm. The time that you've been putting in, you gotta know your improvement yes. of yourself. Your your timing used to be different <laughs> yeah, yeah all the, all yeah. the way around you mm-hmm. you know so your your rhythm and y'all co- cohesiveness mm-hmm. was different y'all probably bumped a little until you understood each other's rhythm yeah <laughs> definitely it, it, yeah. but you know and that's when i was at hot 97 and oh. 
Shut up. Shut up. You got three more. You got three, three more, more Jazzy. No, 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 three no. More, Jazzy. But when I was there, I didn't realize these things that I'm expressing yeah, to yeah. you because I was I didn't go to broadcasting school. I apologize. It was a learning, a learning as you yeah, go. Yeah, I was learning right in front of y'all. Yeah. But, but did you respect it? To the I point where you studied, you didn't study you it didn't understand. You didn't we get didn't it. Even, yeah, she we didn't, didn't realize we were something to study. <laughs> we, I was in it in front of you, yeah. right? But you know, it was. You did great but, though. Yeah. Did I want to say that. Thank you. So we got we got some trivia for you. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, it's a game. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> Hold think up. It's a game. You think There's I'm no, playing? Right, it's a game. Wait, I just want to another stab. Six forty. <laughs> No, no, not Google. No, I don't, my phone is locked. I wanted to just talk about the people who were supposed to be here oh, before yeah, the me. Oh, yeah, the timing. Yeah, yeah. They just called. They said they had the world trade. Right. You know what I mean? Trying but to find parking. They, they, they're stuck. They, <laughs> they're stuck. <laughs> it's almost over, though. Yeah. They, uh, came, this was, this they came was a the wrong day. No, it's not the wrong day. They just got to prepare to leave earlier. Mm -hmm. Like, when you think about the time management thing, we're going to say this and then we're going to get into the game, but... Mm. Wherever they was leaving from, you got to factor the traffic, traffic Rush right? Hour. At, but for the time, right? Yeah. For to be here, you got to leave from your hood around mm -hmm. three something. Yeah. Honestly, to Chill. get through the nine to five, it's always better to be there already yeah. than to trying to mm -hmm. get there. So yeah. let's hit this game. So real, these jewels, jewels so, and gems. We did um, we did some some research on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? All right. Um, some amazing facts about you. So oh. this, so this trivia is going to incorporate some of those things. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you, and I appreciate you doing your case study because it is, as far as uh, interviewers, mm. it's so sad when they don't do their case study on whomever mm. they have yeah. because it's like. Sad. See Shantae, it's Shantae, waste. you see? I, yeah, that's what we were okay. doing. Yeah, it's a waste of. It's like, did I? Should I have taken a shower? <laughs> should <laughs> I have brushed, like? Should I have brushed my teeth? Should I have? Should paid? I have left early? <laughs> right. Should I have? Paid for parking. <laughs> should I have? Should I, should I have done a phoner? <laughs> Hashtag should I. Should I have? Should I have? Hashtag should I have? Like this would have been a great phoner. <laughs> <laughs> right. I could have just stayed in the bed. You wouldn't have known if I was humping, not humping, nothing. I could have answered your question, not have to dip past the jerk oh, on the FDR or all that. <laughs> oh. This is amazing. Okay. So first Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So, Sweet Tea. Yes. Right. Right. Um, and we know you did a feature with her, her first single. Um, is this is my beat? It's my beat. It's my beat. It's, it's my, my beat. beat. And we, I didn't tea. know you were part of that. I always thought it was. So, what was your role in that? Just, just to go back in that, you um, did the beat. You was just DJing for her. I, I was just DJing for her. Joe okay. Ski Love was her boyfriend at the time. I lived in Parkchester. He mm. lived in Parkchester. He mm. asked me to be her DJ. The rest is history. Bang. Wow. And I went, wow. and we really recorded it live. Like mm. Herbie Azar, mm. Love Bug mm. was the producer. He produced Kid and Play, Salt and Pepper. Herbie Love Bug, my Dana guy, Dana. Haitian guy. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yeah. a lot of kids. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Caribbean man. But yeah, keep going. <laughs> Sing -a -ling -a -ling. Yeah. So anyway, shouts to Herbie, but that's how that happened. Okay, so um, she. What's her? What's you know? Do you know her full name? Toy. Jackson. Yeah. yeah. That would've been, that would've been, I, was, I was thinking of putting that, but I was like, she's going to get that. Yeah, so nice. she has a second album. Right. Okay. I don't know the title. I ah! broke out. She said, I, I left. broke out. I, I left. broke out. I left. You did after I that. Left. I blew up. I was done. No, I, I was blew done. Up. No, 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 no. <laughs> we just joking, Jack. Think, you know we just think, joking. I think we suffered the fate of most of the uh, duo groups back then. It was, you know, yeah. MCs yeah. and DJs, and it just, we didn't make it. And you know what the... It's the moolah. It's yeah. the money. The, yeah. Yeah, it didn't add up. Niggas talk, talking crazy. You be like. Huh? <laughs> you be, huh? <laughs> Wait. What? what? Right. Okay. I, when you're putting in the same amount of time. Yeah. Still touring. Bag, still right, right. And the what? bag split is different. I'm just getting, I'm I'm still getting $50 of a <laughs> DJ. <laughs> so, no, so second yeah. album, we give you multiple choice. Okay. Right? That's good help. Multiple choice. All right. Was it A, Ladies Night, B, Sweet Tea, or C, Dot the I cross the T. I think it was B. I think it was B. What you think it was, Shantae? Mm. What was B? B was Sweet T. So it's A, Ladies Night, B, Sweet T, or C, Dot the I cross the T. What you think? Well, if it's not C, that is a dope name. Okay. Um, probably go with A. Okay, what you got? B. You got B? So you were Jazzy with B? Yeah. Okay. 
It's actually A. Ladies hey. night. Oh, it's ladies oh, night. Oh, ladies night. Oh. Yeah, That's, ladies. Wow. Yeah. Okay, ladies go to it. So many people had ladies <laughs> night. That's why yeah. I didn't think it. I was like. Okay, right, and I, I didn't, like, and I didn't Google. I played okay. fair. <laughs> so one, one of the things you mentioned, and we were listening to this when we saw you at the hip hop press conference. Okay. Uh, um, you mentioned on the panel, you know, not taking payola, liking the songs that you played, and you know that, and that comes from a breaking records DJ purist. Like mm-hmm. I like this song, yeah. which is different from when you paying me to play it. So, um, did you know? That there is an activity called the Global Hip Hop Day. Did you hear about that? Global Hip Hop Day. Day. Yeah. Day. Day. Yeah. yeah. Global Hip Hop Day. Did you? No. 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 no, no. It, it's recent, right? It's six. Well, well. Oh, wait. Or somebody made it up. All right. Well, let me well, let me say this. So there is a Global Hip Hop Day. And Who started? That I don't know, but oh. I know it's today. Oh, it Tomorrow is? Uh-huh. or yesterday. That's the trivia question. That's the trivia question. What day is Global Hip Hop Day? It was yesterday. It was yesterday. Okay, what, what do you think? I don't know, but uh, I did see it on um, Lisa Elvis. Okay, all right. Um, Bravo, you should know. What <laughs> what day is Global Hip Hop Day, Bravo? Today. It is today. It is today. today. Hey. There we go. You know, we're trying to nobody. teach some. You know what I mean? But, you know, but you know what's funny, though? Uh, mm-hmm. It's funny because I didn't know about it. I was watching um watching the news mm-hmm. and I seen Kid Capri and Dougie Fresh talking about right, it. Right, mm-hmm. that's and I was now like, makes sense. And then I was that. like, when the hell? He- excuse me. So right. When the, the hell did this come mm-hmm. o- come about? Mm-hmm. Six eight. Yeah. The day yeah. after. Today, today is the official day that they're announcing as global oh, hip hop day. This is interesting. So I guess um. I'm gonna be representing. The Absolutely, time. we all represent. Yeah. That's something if we, we should make more more formal. But I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so somebody's about to capitalize. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it that's ain't our bag. Yeah, 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 it ain't our so exactly. That's what I thought it was about. That global bag. We don't Who have. We made don't have that a, hashtag and all that shenanigans with that. Like they just going still. And, extra, my, and my question yeah. is, they yeah. extra yeah. raping. Who, who who can appoint? A global hip hop day. There should be mm. a certain amount the of hashtag manager, <laughs> <laughs> or even as a person. What people would like? Would, like if Jazzy Joyce had a Jazzy Joyce DJ day, there should be people affiliated with Jazzy mm-hmm. and her career, family members, yeah. maybe business yeah. partners. That sounds crazy. Vibration audio. Don't was do that. that. Oh yeah, yeah I know. That's Sorry. you. That's, yeah, that was me. Yeah. The technician. I don't know why I did it? Jazzy, the technician. I just looked at. I don't even know why I did it. I just. Did she it. said, "Stop that reverb. Real that's a, that's a Mac. <laughs> Stop that. I know Samsung. I know Apple. <laughs> no, just, it got you. Know. you. Comes through. So yeah. three, um, birthdays. You mentioned. Your birthday is coming up, right? June twentieth. June twentieth. Gemini so, season. There's some there's some hip hop birthdays, right? Okay. That I want you to um, know that are in June, right? And it's trivia. I've been sucking at it so bad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Pause. <laughs> <Look>. Pause. <laughs> so um so June twentieth birthday. Which one of these has a June twentieth birthday? Which one of these um hip hop um, people, people? I would say Sage the Gemini, B Kanye, or C Ice Cube is June twentieth. I think like it might be Sage. That is correct. Wow. Yeah, June 20th, yeah, your same birthday. Yeah, yeah. How did I, you know that? Because um, the other two, if it was that, I, it would have already been etched Shoot in my mind. Okay. Yeah, no, already. Yeah, no. okay. So, and I kind of keep, I kind of pay attention to all the Gemini artists. Yes. Like, I'll be like, oh. Yeah. Gemini. Yeah. Hey, you in the house. <laughs> house. Yes. <laughs> right, so I, I kind of know my brothers and sisters. Yeah. So, and I was like, and I like him as an artist and his music. Yeah, Ice Cube is June as well. I think Ice Cube is a yeah, Gemini. Yeah, yeah, he Kanye is, is a Gemini. Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't on the same day yeah, yeah. as mine. So, as yours. Yeah. So that was a good thing. Good stuff. There we what? go. Clap yeah. it up, for Jazzy. Yeah, yeah. Let you know how I do pay attention, and I do. That's I what's mean, up, man. It may yes. seem minor, but yes. no. It, see, these are the little things that you know. These hip hop. Um, celebrities, rappers, um, figures that connect us and bind us. You know what I mean? Same birthday. Not the big things going platinum and stuff like that. You know, same island, some same borough, right. like same school. You know yes. what I mean? Those right. connections that we need to keep us okay. as a community. Yeah. Well, they see. They Yes, yes. X, we know. Yeah, I've seen nah. that. We I think. Know. I think it's because it groups together a mutual understanding of 
what you had, mm-hmm. what you don't like when you look at somebody who's coming from the same place that you've come from, and then we judge each other on mm-hmm. on things that we yeah. see, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So if you're judging by what is presented and mm-hmm. stuff, you get an understanding of what they endured yeah. to oh, manifest that. Yeah. Be- in in pres- in in the understanding of where they come from because you know every time when they made the move mm-hmm. so you know every time oh you're they, coming from this to, point of view right, and that point of view absolutely right, i agree right. with that yeah. so um one, one question we had too was the dj ear right mm-hmm. the ear of the dj what, what is there a difference between the male ear and the female absolutely. ear what would you say is the difference well first the first beat that you all of you ever hear is your mother's heartbeat. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Do That's I have crazy. to say anything else? Wow. That's deep. Really? Jazzy, did somebody ask you that and you and you said that before? No, I figured it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then it's just certain things that are what they are and they're... So and the, the first rhythm re- is the it, woman's rhythm, yeah, right? Yeah, the mental Rolodex just scrolls through something that <laughs> and that was in there like out of all the things that i could have said i was like mm. i don't want to be long-winded mm. this is what it is because that's what is the first come on yeah that is the first beat unless you're a cloned like. baby unless you're uh uh what do they call those uh, uh yeah clone or stem cell I, well, but but there's a difference mm. in itself mm-hmm. you, know, you know what okay. i mean that's a difference that's, that's a difference mm. That's, I'm gonna hold that one. I'm gonna yeah. hold that one. So, um, I know we're about to go into our um, pictures and promos. Um, we got the other group came. They right, had, they right. Downstairs. So I'll wait till y'all speak to them because y'all got a little bit of time <laughs> to get them in. Like, there you go. So and then I'll be patient uh-huh. and wait for the picture thing so that you could talk to them. So they could. So let me tell y'all where you can find me. So as they coming up, I there can you just go. boop 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 get mm. out the way and let them have the rest mm. of the time. So thank you to them mm. i'll get to know who they are <laughs> when they come in uh-huh. but follow me uh, mm. uh, my website dj jazzy joyce mm. dot us mm. all the information about everything you need to know booking me whatever mm. whatever, whatever uh follow me on instagram at jazzy joyce mm. follow me on twitter and facebook at dj jazzy joyce mm. and follow need that rose Do- need that rose gold on instagram it's where i do all i, I just recently yeah my yeah i just recently started stretching mm. out every time when you see a t-shirt or whatever mm. it's hand painted and i'm Ooh, so yeah, right. I'll, like your creative muscles mm-hmm. a little bit a mm-hmm. little bit and ex- and just going off into other means of expressing mm-hmm. it, that's beautiful it's, it's creativity mm-hmm. so um i can't think i was I don't know what else. Oh, shouts to Chrissy. I'm doing a show with her. Mm-hmm. Chrissy Monroe show featuring Jazzy Joyce. Shouts to Dominica Stara and Ponsini Entertainment. I produced a single called O mm. for Dominica. She's from Slovakia. I produced a, wow. so, a single called uh, Caviar for this group called Kin for Life. They're mm-hmm. based. They're, they're New York, at Atlanta-ish, mm-hmm. AT alien-ish, mm-hmm. back and forth. <laughs> so shouts to them. And um, I produce. I was, I'm here. Mm. And there's a uh, there's a lot of great yeah. things on on the rise. So thank you, Jazzy. For having if we that. don't see you, happy Jazzy. birthday. Yeah. Happy right. birthday. We'll try to thank get you. over there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at DJ Jazzy Joyce dot US RSVP for my 50th birthday party. If you want to be in the building, I have no idea. Where it is, what's going on, like sincerely, and I'm and I like that because, as you said, mm-hmm. I did so much on my own, and yeah. for a change, I have someone doing to, it for doing not, something to for help, you, you know, you out, yeah. So, I have yeah. to trust, yeah, it, it's a yeah. matter of trust. I have to trust, yeah. so I'm gonna trust in it and just let it manifest mm. and just be thankful that I've had the life that I had through music. I've met a lot of people all around the world and had a lot of great experiences and i'm a young lady who was born and raised in the bronx with nothing yes. so you know i could sit here and look at all of the bad things that has ever happened but why yeah you know yeah yes. nah so thank you sincerely i wish y'all thank the you best. for coming jenna thank you yes. 
hip hop point of view. Y'all have a great oh, setup. Y'all thank right. you. Yes. Oh, hey. There you go. Point yeah. at him. Yes. Point at him. Yes. All your crew is. Everybody is is uh, supportive in the right way to your situation and continued success to you. And uh, it was a pleasure meeting you and and being poked at. He's your leader. That's your leader. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. You know, in the yeah, movie yeah. when they be like, "Who's your leader?" <laughs> 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 That's your leader. That's funny in the movie. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's your leader. That's one of my favorite movies. That's what. Um, well, a couple movies have utilized that line, mm-hmm. but one of my movies is Fifth Element. Yes. yes. And that's, that's, yes, that's, yes, that's, yes. that's the joke. That's right my chihuahua, Lilu. <laughs> <laughs> I named her after her. That's hilarious. Because all she needs is love. And that's all she needed mm-hmm. was, was love. love. Yeah. Right. And yeah. most women, that's mm-hmm. all they need is love. Is love. Yeah, well, and then they turn into superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? You plug it in. Right? Plug it in. Look, you, you go, go to the supermarket and you come and be this stuff laying out and then boom. Magic. Different woman. Super no, woman. No, <laughs> what she turned what she bought what you bought in, what she turned it into. Yes. yes. Right. You yeah. know, mm. you make her happy, she'll make a happy home. Mm. So I I'm see you. I say let's go, Jazz. Does, 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 does Jazz have jewels and gems with everything? No, everything. oh from the, Do you have gems with everything. No, no, <laughs> we ain't got time to be playing around. You haters couldn't stop me, I'm balling in this bitch. Y'all little niggas need to live Making sure the execution's swift I'm killing all these niggas Jumping in and out of whip You haters couldn't stop me I'm balling in this bitch Do y'all little niggas need to live Making sure the execution's swift I'm killing all these niggas Jumping in and out of whip You haters couldn't stop me You better go and copy My shit is hard like a brick from Poppy You gotta watch these niggas acting cocky But the trade pen was sweeten up the beef No teriyaki, yeah Mobbing on the streets like a hooligan Mobbing on the streets to make them moves again Talking about your name ring bells But every time they see you they be asking who are you again Your man knows the world don't understand though I knew I was the streets I see my uncle with a banjo Cutting up the grand folk ch- 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 Church The fiends said the greenhouse be having all that work Same fiends that put them in the jail Wouldn't let them out they ain't even give them bail In my city either that or a box or in the spot Park a lot pimping in the parking lot we park a lot, pimped in there and out the parking lot. We park a lot, pimped in there and out the parking lot. We park a lot, pimped in there and out the parking lot. You haters couldn't stop me, I'm ballin' in this bitch. Do y'all little niggas need a lift? Making sure the execution's swift. I'm killing all these niggas, jumping in and out of whip. You haters couldn't stop me, I'm ballin' in this bitch. Do y'all little niggas need a lift? Making sure the execution's swift. I'm killing all these niggas, jumping in and out of whip. You haters couldn't stop me, your boy. I slide on you haters and eat them all Shipping broccoli, then slide with your bitch You know I'm liking them sake I like my money on hoes I chase some chickens like Rocky And you know I come and do and get it all day Speed dial is a cold way Second on the clock. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Just picture.
picture what I envision. Thank God I'm locked in the system, been loaded with ammunition. Got a highway in and out of the lanes. We doing it my way. My way. Let's go. Uh, Grimy niggas get sprayed. Cockroach type goons killing with the rain. You can't get the show without the pain, but I'm getting money off of this whole thing. So proud, but they looking up when they talking down, down. Cause you know, cause you know, cause you know. That they don't approve if you don't let it show. Well, we got nothing to prove, my nigga. In the streets, like we got nothing to lose, my nigga. Like a stone, I fall in the morning I fall in the morning My homies are rolling Pushing the whip like a stone And I fall in the morning I fall in the morning Don't need I fall in the morning Yeah, I'm done I fall in the morning My homies are rolling like a stone, I fall on the moment I fall on the moment My homies are rolling I just finished bartending and it's 3 a.m. Heard you out the after party with your girlfriends. With your girlfriends. Like a girlfriend's there, but the life every time I'm in the building, man, there on the way. White, white girl rocking up her. Her favorite song is Jingy the right there. She got an X man like a scissor. But she stick to the script like a nutter. I brought some ramen pineapple to my ting ting. She said, please keep it quiet, my roommates are sleeping. So I'm quietly creeping. Under the bed, I'm over. In town go shazi and put the daughter key I like him when you speak before she gets to me <laughs> Then I got a text from a man saying Where you at? We got a dip It's 4am My homies are rolling
darling, do you wanna party? Meet me in the live bay, then we can soiree Mix the juice with the bomb bass, smoking on some bomb hay Sitting on the couch, we can parlay I could be a sponsor, shot tank In the morning, wake me up like a latte Whipped cream all over your body Same question, do you wanna party? Do you wanna party
Richie campaign. Diamonds in my chain. We gripping money, we gripping grain. Throwing hundreds, we making rain. Round of applause, gonna do your damn thing. Gotta take it off. Drop it low, drop it low.
Yeah, yeah, we welcome back. We're back. Trying to second, get this mic second out. Second part, second part. Yeah. Thanks to Jazzy George for coming through, blessing us right with here. some <laughs> uh, life. Some jewels. Some life um, inspiration. Yeah. yeah right Jazzy. there. We got Easy Mo B two Easy days B. two days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want me to tell them the story? Yeah. Tell the story, Mo. They, you got they got to hear the story. Why in my mind I wanted to believe that I was supposed to be here yesterday <laughs> between seven and eight. So I, I, I come early. I'm sitting there and, and they had some other show here and I'm like. I'm early then 705, 710, then get to 726. I go over to the girl at the desk and say, What's the, what's the sh- next show? Just, <laughs> you sure you're supposed to be here? I look at it at Sal's Tech. Sure enough, it was today. So. <laughs> we appreciate you coming uh, yeah. and giving Coming's us that back. love. Yeah, Coming but like back. I just yeah. told her, mm-hmm. early mm-hmm. on the wrong day mm-hmm. and late <laughs> on the right. On the right day. But in radio time, I'm right on you're time. You're right on, yeah. always yeah. On, on time. Never on time, but always on schedule. Yeah. I, I don't know yeah. how they say it, or it's always on schedule, <laughs> never on, whatever they say. Right. right. So, right. Mo B, first of all, thank you for coming down, man. Oh, yeah. absolutely. And shout out to thank Sanjay, you. you know, hooking man. us up, thank you know, bringing you by. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I know you guys are working together. Um, appreciate you taking the time. First of all, I know you're a busy man. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Number two, we kind of we kind of wanted to say this is like a legend series. Yeah. Right, yeah. because we had Joyce, um, Jazzy Joyce. You know what she does, and to see your body of work, mm. right? Yeah. To this day, we were like, "Damn, I don't, I don't even understand how could you do all of that music and still be behind the scenes and not necessarily be thrusted in front in hip hop? How did you keep the behind the scenes um, character?" Um, a lot of that, I think comes from you know i and and a lot of us mm. the ones that still I, I like to refer to us as like pre-existing mm. pre-existing is you was around in the 80s the 90s but you're still here mm. now you're still on the scene now so i'm from an era where the producer was in the background you understand what i'm saying i i watched that whole super producer thing happened mm-hmm. um teddy riley molly mm-hmm. mall mm-hmm. uh pete rock on the records and stuff like that but i always just been happy with producing the record mm-hmm. you know what i mean putting my work in mm-hmm. and going home and like getting ready for that <laughs> next gig <laughs> you know so mm-hmm. anybody that knows me in mm-hmm. in um there's minuses and pluses to that mm-hmm. you know like you was you were saying in mm-hmm. terms of um your face mm-hmm. image mm-hmm being projected mm. on a on a mass scale mm. but um as far as i'm concerned uh, i always just was ready to work mm. and and that's still and getting right thing. back to work yeah mm. yeah i'm i'm just concerned with the work and the music and anybody that knows me they mm. knows that believe it or not that kind of fits my character because mm. all i really care about is the music mm. that's it you know what i mean oh that's what's up yeah the now, music. It's yeah, you had a question about yeah. the music. Mm-hmm. Now, with with you being behind the scenes so much, and um, being you know a uh, uh, magnificent uh, producer, mm-hmm. I wanted to get another word, but um, <laughs> do you feel that, like you said, it, it's a it's, it's a pros and cons to it? Do you feel some type of way that like you didn't get the credit that? You should have got like other producers that was out in like the, the open. Super producers, <laughs> absolutely. Mm. Thank you. And, and, it's a, Thank and, nice. and and you know what? And I try my best to stay away from this, man. Mm. But I'll talk about it a little bit. Mm. You know, there, there's several other aspects aspects that play into this. Like, you know, <laughs> I've made a couple of people unhappy mm. with mm. with um with my forwardness because you know i you know I, I speak what i feel yes whatever's on my mind like i'll let you know sometimes if you load too forward mm-hmm. you know you can be like whoa a little too strong critical, <laughs> but but um i had an experience and it and it started with the flavor in your ear remix with some credit mm-hmm. some credits that were wrong yeah you know i got the the 
the flavor in your ear single in the mail back then they were still doing <laughs> vinyl yes yes and, and, and the record pools and promotion labels and promotional lists at the label so it actually came ups i'm ready open the box amp i'm like yo this what i did the mix now i want to hear it i want to see it remix by sean puffy combs mm. chucky thompson and easy moby mm. Now, I know I was the only one there that that was in there stu- that in that was, session. That was I remember it was sound on sound. I, I know I was the only one in there actually, you know, repro- composing, reprogramming mm-hmm. on on the SP twelve hundred and the nine fifty. And I remember Chucky Thompson. He was there, and and mm-hmm. absolutely, you know, no kind of uh, animosity towards Chucky Thompson. Chuck, Chucky Thompson is a great friend, mm-hmm. uh, talented dude. You know what I'm saying? From D.C., that's my dude. But he was in the session. I don't know how yeah. his name got on the record. Mm. But anyway, I saw these names other than mine. So I went up to the office and I was like, yo, what's this? Mm. And I was kind of like, yo, please don't do that again. And I noticed after that, there was like a difference in treatment. I didn't really get too much mm. You know, more work over yeah. there at the label. Mm-hmm. Um, several other factors I could get into. I'm almost, not, I'm almost. Not, I'm not even gonna speak on on those, but I I just say things changed a little. Like bit. almost blackballed. Well, you know, I had heard that. Mm-hmm. I never wanted to accept or believe that because mm-hmm. my my thing has always been this: you are if you say so or if you believe it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. And and true. let me tell you something. First of all, I'm glad we're speaking about this strong believer in god let me tell you something whatever is meant for you whatever is yours you know what i mean it is yours and nobody can take that away from you Mm. nobody Mm. and and so on top of it all i gotta say to this day i appreciate that i still got love (laughs) i still got respect yeah Mm. i still got the history of the catalog and and the body of work that Mm. he spoke of earlier um and that 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 right there is enough for me Mm. and i still got life health breath and strength Mm. i got my mind i got my five senses god has blessed me Mm. and regardless or not he continues to and like i was telling you earlier i'm just looking for that next gig where i fit and where i can apply myself according to what i'm okay with what i believe in when i say that i mean like funk the soul you mm. know a genuine hip-hop mm. thing you know chopping the beats mm. and real r&b house um i dj too mm. that's how this whole thing started you started off dj so this yeah. is true my friend told me that ho told me that i didn't i didn't know that yeah, and yeah. so you started yeah. off djing first as okay. a little boy 12 mm. years old on the turntables wow. i didn't even have a real set yet i had two bsr turntables and yeah and a little knob mixer that i found in the ramp in the projects so mm. turn one knob up <laughs> turn the other one down <laughs> that'll be a mixer yeah. <laughs> yeah i had a summer job and um got my first i parlayed mm-hmm. uh, af- my first after school job mm. from a summer job and from there that was it i start mm. saving up mm. buying my own equipment my own records stuff like that there's there's um and i still do the vinyl i do yeah. all vinyl gigs there's records that i take out mm-hmm. in my crates to gigs right now yeah mm-hmm. those are some of the same records that i saved up for when i was young and i had my after school job mm-hmm. and yes so it's like i've been investing into this mm-hmm. a long starting a long long yeah. time ago mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and a lot of those same records i've sampled them you know i continue to use them so I've been investing into this this whole love of the music yeah. and and the hip hop. I ain't even gonna say just hip hop, but overall in general, the music. I'm yeah. starting a long, long time. Yeah, ago. If, if you guys are not familiar, but he has a song with Miles Davis, man. Yeah. Oh, we have a yeah, we, we have, have a trivia yeah. set up for that. Set, okay. yeah. I have a trivia, trivia. set up yeah. for that oh. <laughs> because you did that. Let me just get right into the trivia, then we'll get into our questions. You ready for the trivia, uh, Mo? We don't got the song. Yeah. But all right, All right. Let's go. Here we got a little trivia for you, right? For me. For you, yeah. <laughs> for you, Uh-oh. easy mobile. Listen, listen. He said, he said I was here yesterday. 
<laughs> you should have gave it to me yesterday when I was ready. <laughs> today, man, I'm You're just here ready. to talk. No, I'm, I'm here ready, to talk. Easy mo B, meet hard mo E. It's all good. Shoot. Here's what we're going to do. Um, first of all, what, what was your DJ name as a kid? What was your DJ name? Yo, y'all ain't gonna believe it. First, first of all, <laughs> first of all, my 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 family. Mm. Anybody that know me from Brooklyn, from LG Lafayette Gardens, mm -hmm. born and bred. Mm. You go back. I go back on that block right now today. Anybody Are spot you right me? Right there by the star in the star. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anybody mm. spot me? They gonna be yo boo. Mm. <laughs> or you here way across the projects, mm. half a block away. Booby, <laughs> so <laughs> DJ and, 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 DJ and, Booby, and and that DJ came Booby. from you know my mother mm -hmm. gave me the nickname mm -hmm. as, as a baby. Her and and, and this other lady that used to live in my mm -hmm. in my building. So mm -hmm. Booby became my family nickname. That spilled out into the projects. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody called me Boo Booby, mm -hmm. and when it come time to DJing, <coughs> gotta have a name. So I was like DJ Booby D. Booby D. Booby D. Yeah. Sounds cool. And then in 1980, <laughs> yeah, I'm showing my age. <laughs> <laughs> then in 1980, you know, I was into the graf into the graph, the graffiti. Oh, you were tagging too? Yeah, tagging. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did a little bit of that and everything. I was going around when I didn't have no sense messing up my own building. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Tagging. And <laughs> True, we we but, did some of that. For sure. But I came up with this name, this name and it was derived from... Cool Mo D. Mm -hmm. See, I always felt like Cool Mo D at that time, he was one of the most innovative as far as he, he when he came in, you listen back then, he injected brand new rhythms oh, yes. mm. in rap that other rappers wasn't even using or yeah. doing yet. His lyrical complexities <clears throat> were different. And just Star Trek shades on. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Before that. <laughs> Before LL got a chance to say that, but. But at that time, he was just one of the most innovative dudes. And I liked this dude so much mm -hmm. that I wanted a name like his. Mm -hmm. So I said, this is what we're going to do. Cool. We're going to drop cool. Put a similar adjective, easy. Easy. Mm -hmm. Right. He was M-O-E. Mm -hmm. I said, drop that E. M-O. -O. And he was D for his last name, Deweese. Mm -hmm. I said, we're going to put B. Booby. And the B is for booby. Mm. So it really was easy mo booby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but ain't nobody gonna say all that long. Easy so I was just like booby. easy mo. Yeah. Easy mo that was the start of the career. Because easy mo booby would have been the end. <laughs> that would have been the end of the career right there. Yeah, yeah. It would have hey, been. Don't matter the name, man. Yeah. That, that, that yeah. talent. Cause and, and, I, and, I, and I talked with um, Cool Mo D one time before mm -hmm. on the phone, and I told him about it. He laughed about it. You know, <laughs> he, he knows the story. And he, he, you know, he laughed. And That's such and a great that. homage. And he was happy that you didn't go with the booby, too. <laughs> so from, from yes. jump, I was paying homage. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. Even in your, your whole design, your foundation. Exactly. So, yeah. Easy Mo B, um, I, I was looking at your gram, and I saw that fantastic story about the bass drum and Rakim. And how I mean the bass mic, was it the bass mic when you said I didn't you, you I think the mic messed up and you was like I don't know what mic I'm gonna use for Rakim, and you gave and you used the the mic that was next to the 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 bass drum to capture his voice I think it was for Paid in Full. Oh no 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 I was talking about how um the legendary Patrick Adams. Oh okay okay okay. Yeah, producer engineer that used to be a oh, that's what he power play out in Long Island City. Oh that's what he used. Yeah he mic'd. Rock him with oh. a with a bass drum, mic. Mm. wow! Because he was trying to get the right sound. Patrick mm. is oh man, Patrick is a beast, man. Mm. I thought that beast. was you. No, no, uh -huh. I, I I was doing a, a a little piece there dedicated to um Patrick Adams, Patrick Adams, okay. and you know how he recorded mm. Eric B mm. and Rock him in in uh Power Play Studio. Mm. That's an oh, interesting thanks for story. That, up. Yeah, that story was fantastic. That's though. an interesting story. So, so first question is is in that frame. I want you to name us three, three one-name rappers like Rakim from New York. Three one-name rappers. Three one-name rappers. Other than Rakim. Oh, whoa. Yo, you caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah. I ain't trying to eat up the show with this, but hold on. Let me think. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll give you some clues. Let's go with Queens. Nas. There you go. Bang. Bang. Nah, nah. There's one. Two um, down. Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about 
he was on Nervous, Funk Master Flex Boy on uh, Broadway. Broadway, okay. Yeah, I yeah. know you're talking about Broadway. Um, it don't matter what era they. Don't from. matter. It don't matter what era. One name rapper from New York. Um, designer. Ooh. Oh, I like Wasn't that. Wasn't thinking of that one. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. thinking of that right there. That make it relevant. Yeah, I'm going all. <laughs> <laughs> All errors. He said all errors. I like that. Gotcha. <laughs> First one came to my mind. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Fab. 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 Prodigy. Right. Raekwon. Two. Tupac. Yes. Tupac. No. Havoc. Tragedy. Raekwon. Tragedy. Raekwon the chef. You might. You, no, it's Raekwon. Nah, it's Raekwon the they chef. They added off. the chef one. Let's just go. Let's go to okay, Moby. Let's go. Moby. Let's what go. do you think? Let's go. Was it Ray, is it Raekwon the chef or Raekwon? He kind of. Justified itself right there. Yeah, you would go with Raekwon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rizzo Jizza, one name. Um, so second question. Red man. Red man. Red Abs- man. No, Trump only from Trump New York. New York. York. Oh, yeah, yeah. Far. So the Miles Davis um track that you did, right? Um did you were you looking to work with Miles Davis? Was it just a call? How how did that materialize? I was over there at um RPM, Rush Producers Management, mm-hmm. and um the um, rest in peace, Francesca Sparrow, who was my manager over there. Mm. She told me, she said, boo. She got to know me so well. <laughs> she got to know me that well. She didn't even call me Moby. She was calling me boo. Because she had been around members of my family and stuff like that. So she's like, boo. Miles has been hanging out with Russell, and mm. Miles wants to get into hip hop. So mm. I'm, I'm putting together reels of producers here from the roster, wow. and he wants to listen to hear some hip hop stuff. And he ended up picking me. Incredible. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so, when you and when so, you got that call, how did you feel? Oh man, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must That's have miles. right now. Yeah. That's miles. That's miles. Yeah. I started putting something together before <laughs> before he hung up the phone. <laughs> before we even got <laughs> to the studio. Immediately. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. And, and your choice of weapon is the SP, right? You wouldn't do anything else? Oh yeah. I still use that SP twelve hundred still on the um Akai rack mount samplers. Yeah. Yeah, that's my thing. Mm. I got a call today. Uh, shout out to Philip Leeds, who used to be uh, uh, from Mass Appeal. Mm-hmm. He actually used to be Francesca uh, uh, Sparrow's assistant over there in the office, and he, mm. he just called me out of the blue. He's like, yo, um, Rhythm Roulette, they ask him about you. Dope. Mm. That, that. So when you said SP1200, I just thought about it because. I told him, I said, yo, I'll do it, but I got to have my SP. Yeah. yeah. And, and the, the 950. The, the whole concept of ru- uh, roulette is yes. super dope. Rhythm yes. roulette, yeah. super that's, dope. That's a nice and thing. And, you know, you have a lot of notable producers that get on that show. Yeah. And the fly part is that they go blindfolded to a, a record store. Mm. And you just got to pick out three records. And wow. then you got to go and listen to them, sample some, do the, create a beat right on the spot. And I, I know you're gonna kill it, Bo. Yeah, I, I, I just found out about it today. I, I never say, heard of it. Bo- a booby. <laughs> <laughs> Booby's gonna kill it. Booby's gonna Booby. kill it. So the Miles Davis, and, um, Miles Davis um, collaboration. These hip hop. I'm gonna give you a multiple choice of 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 hip hop songs that had a Miles Davis sample in it. So you oh. tell me out of these three, which one had the Miles Davis sample? You ready? Okay, first one. Was it A. Guru Jazzmatazz? Was it B. Mob Deep Quiet Storm? Or was it C, Heavy D, got nothing but love for you? Mm. Oh, no, no, sorry. Heavy D, you can see what I can see. You, you can't can see, see what, what I can't see. see. That was, uh, um, no, we won't say it online. <laughs> Yo, listen, it, did you see my post last night? Yo, no. <laughs> I don't mean to get that objective over there on the gram, but <laughs> I somehow I was online and I bumped into where um, mm. whosampled.com, they had it mm. put up there where Flavor in Your Ear sampled um, O'Donnell Levy and I was like no I didn't uh, I saw that I, uh, yeah. yo you know I got <laughs> how did you bump into that you know I got an email from them today mysteriously I don't know because how they you got put my it up email yeah we we noticed your post on Instagram and wow. and you know I ain't gonna take wow. the whole, yeah. an email from Instagram but or I from, from 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 the, the whole the, sample wow. you know you know what support team it, it was that's what the the um, email address was but mm-hmm. i learned that yeah it, it's a input site okay like people can like pu- Manu- publicly yeah. add stuff to it but oh, like my Wikipedia. thing is yeah. Yeah. confirm that 
do the research mm-hmm. and be sure before you just put that out there because one of the things I had put in the post I had said I said all oh, um these kind of false implications are nothing to be played with. Yeah, they're not. That yeah. was that was that's something serious. That was heavily veiled. Mm-hmm. That was another way of me saying, "Yo, you could have straight caused a lawsuit." Right. It got me dealing with legal issues. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Easy. When I saw that, uh, when I saw when you posted that, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I tell you one thing. I, I could have swore this was a trusted site, Who Sampled, because whenever I want to hear, like, yeah. oh, wow, let me see where they got that sample from, I'll go to Who Sampled It. So in light of that, right like, now, it, since, yeah. since I got the platform to do this, yo, no harm meant whosample.com. What's up? Mm-hmm. Peace from Easy Moby. Just we in an era where, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Trust. Where that I come from, like, yo, Back in the day, DJs beat other DJs down. <laughs> 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 it's very physical. It's a very physical yeah. situation. Yeah, they we used to, to be out there in the park with the records scratched out. Um, I heard Bambada used to soak the labels off in, mm-hmm. the, in the tub and everything. They didn't, so want, they didn't want you seeing where they was getting oh, stuff from. Oh, we yeah. in a different yeah. era, man. Yeah. We, yeah. we got Shazam. You can take your phone and put it to the speaker. Yeah. And find out where they're getting stuff you. from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. That's deep. Okay, so you got that one. Three. Yeah, heavy D. Heavy you can't D. see what I can't see. How And... You know that from the research, or you know the Miles catalog, and you made the association. I bumped into that by mistake oh, again wow. publicly. Mm. I don't like to mm. put other people out there. Mm. You know, it's possible I could even say something that could cause somebody else something. So Absolutely. we ain't gonna speak on the record. Okay, cool. No I'll problem. I'll just say I was playing the record, and I bumped into it. I said, "Oh." Okay. Yeah, I was shocked <laughs> myself. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. use this on Moby, but I was shocked as well. Yeah. So, this one is more of a of a hip hop culture thing, as you know. Um, KRS came out with the nine elements of um, hip hop. Um, do you know what number DJing is? What number element? Oh, I didn't know that they had specific numbers. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Easy Mo, I got to tell you. <laughs> I gotta, they got numbers, Easy Mo. I got to honestly say, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know there's, there's B-Boying. Yes, yes, yes. Which, um, what's his name? Uh, Crazy Leg takes Absolutely. Big days. offense to the term breakdancing, although mm-hmm. he's learned to accept it, but B-Boying. Mm-hmm. DJing, mm-hmm. MCing, mm-hmm. um, the graffiti mm-hmm. part. Um, mm. Yo, what are the rest of that? So I'm, I'm going to give you the elements in order, right? right? In order, based on the gospel of hip-hop. That's the book that um, KRS put out explaining these things. So um, element one is breaking. They don't call it break dancing. They just say breaking. I said b boy and b boy too. Yeah, breaking b boy and b girl. They consider boy. Yeah, uh, same thing. B girl from b go from b boy and b girl. Um, <laughs> element two is fem c m c. Oh, right. All right. Element three is graffiti. Right. And element four is djing. Element five is beatboxing. Yes. Whoa. Yes. And beatboxing. I'm glad you said that because mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure of that because Dougie Fresh said that on you yeah. know on the news he was like. B box is number five. Yeah, it's an element. I never really knew that. Element five is B box. Element six is street fashion. Mm. Element seven is street language. Element eight is street knowledge. And element nine is street entrepreneur. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Those are the okay. nine elements. Okay. And it's and it, you know what's what's fantastic about it as as the hip hop point of view, we started doing our culture studying and we were like oh snap yeah so we out here lost yeah. we didn't we didn't know that so now we get an opportunity we put on our hashtags we try to tell people who want to know about it yeah shout to krs1 man yeah man done, serious done a lot for hip-hop but i never knew that they was specially numbered yeah yeah <laughs> you just knew, according to you just book, knew they was like the there commandments. And, then like I, the commandments. and then i always associated with the elements as the the action part of the elements, true. like yeah. you true. said, like the b boy and MC and MC and Graf- um, graffiti, yeah, yeah, the action parts, like that, the, that's other the street um, entrepreneur, and um, that's not necessarily an action part, a street knowledge part. That's not an action part. Right. So that's what's shocking to me too. I didn't know there was so many the sub, but it's and, part of the culture. It's so part of the culture. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. And and he, the way he explained it was was fantastic. And then. Yes. Well, well, another question we we got for you is, you know, the hip hop museum is coming out. I don't know if you saw that. 
on the gram, they they dedicate 150 million dollars to a hip hop museum that's gonna be in Harlem. <laughs> okay. Would you be opposed? And it's just a joke, but if they came to you, like me, Moby, we need you to just stand there as an exhibit, and we need to talk about all of these tracks for like September 8th <laughs> to, to October 11th, and you would just sit there and talk about all of these amazing hip hop songs. That you, and the stories behind it. Would you? Would you be what opposed you mean, to that? What you mean on a panel? Like no, like they come in. They a see live exhibit. Huh? <laughs> a live exhibit. Wait, a I, live I, exhibit of Easy Mo B. I'm what trying to understand of? this. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> well, I came into the museum. Right. And I'm just just standing there, and I'll ask you a interacting, question. And we're interacting, interacting with, with each Easy Moby. With a live exhibit. From the public or like yes, from yes, the public. From the public. Cause it's a museum. That'll be a lot of talking. <laughs> um, yeah, but how long? <laughs> <laughs> but you, but you know, because people close. know me. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad, I'm mad approachable, but you know, maybe after about 10, 15 minutes, I'll be like, all right, all right, all right. So you get that. You get that. All right, the, peace, yo. <laughs> that be the sign. You know what I'm saying? When they start that, you get that. You get that pound. Yeah. Put that hand up. That, that hand pound is that. Up. Sign like right, I'm yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good meeting, good meeting, brother. One foot in, one foot out. Yeah. Like, right, I'm out. It's a 15 minute exhibit. Then <laughs> got me crying over it. Seal it with a hug. Too. You know, with the real homeboy hug. Like you know, I'm out. usually <laughs> after you do that hug, ain't nothing else yeah, happening after that. That's it. You <laughs> concluded the deal. That's the period in the sentence. That's the hood period in the sentence. Yeah, that Brooklyn, Brooklyn came but out. To answer the question, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would, I yeah. would. <laughs> And the, re the reason why we say that because you know some of the things you mentioned about you know the credit that 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 you deserve um loving the culture and getting back into it you know these are the things we need you know what i mean mm -hmm. speaking to people about you know where was the 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 ethics at how did you get into the business you know yeah. what was associated with this track you know what i mean Information like watch what you put out there, you know the research. You know what I mean, right? So these any your catalog, you would have to be in some type of museum situation. You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay. I don't know who has that. You know when I when I there's so it's one of those where you look at it and you're like I didn't even know he did that. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? Yeah, man. But then, like, you, it's, it's, you look. it's crazy though because uh, the reason why I follow you and I like I've been following you for probably like two years or something. But it's interesting because he always puts something of history in there. Like he'll show the vinyl mm -hmm. one day and then he'll show the song on the vinyl. And mm -hmm. then, you know, you see the SP. Mm -hmm. And then, you you know, it's always something about, you know, the pa it's your passion. It's an information session. The, the information that's, that it's real dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you're receiving it that way because that's, that's how it's intended. Mm -hmm. That's like the educational part of it for all those people that don't know about that stuff, whether it's anything from a record to credits or whatever. But do you know what I'm actually doing when I do that also, too? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just because I got this strong, deep feeling for I wish the hip hop would return to somewhat to what what it was like as far as boom bap is concerned like mm. right now I, I think we're going through a real identity crisis mm. um i think a lot of us will agree that new york don't sound like new york yes. no, no more that's, that's, and a that's lot that. of ways a new york new york mm. oh yeah mm. a lot of a lot of times new york don't act like new, new york, york no mm. more so when you see me trickling them things and doing mm. that mm. in I'm saying it without saying it like, yo, you remember this? Like, yeah. yo, this 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 what you're supposed to do. This is mm, what yeah. you're supposed to be on. Like, mm. don't forget this. This is the foundation. So actually when I'm doing that, I'm actually trying to um, inspire a lot of people to mm. get back to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? A, a lot of what we know we're supposed to be doing. Mm. Like, I, I have nothing against music from the different regions there you go because of where you was born there's a certain culture a certain background and everything that makes you who you are the way you speak your mm -hmm. slang the way your music come out mm -hmm. okay well from here in new york we always had a certain kind of mm -hmm. culture and background and slang. surroundings mm -hmm. and slang language that come along with it and everything mm -hmm. and i'm just like 
I don't know. We got a a, a real identity. Do you feel problem? Do you, right do you feel now. like it's just the evolvement of hip hop, or you feel like it's in a stray? No, I think it. What it come down to is, I think people will literally do anything for money. Mm. Yes, and to I get agree. on. Yes, thank I mean, you. It's a it's a whole lot of other different aspects we could get into mm. concerning hip hop or the whole reasons like why mm. you just ask, mm. but. <laughs> what it comes down to is money. It is. It's and money. getting on and people will just do anything. And, uh, you know, we always knew the, mu- the music as something greater than that. It always had a lot more respect mm-hmm. and a lot more integrity than that. Mm-hmm. But, but it's many years later. Mm-hmm. It is 2017. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That sounds crazy. I, in, in, in 1989, 1992, me first coming into this business, 2017, <coughs> excuse me, let me say it the big way. 2017 sounded so far. Yeah, like, yo. It wasn't so even like, there. It wasn't even thought about. So futuristic. Yeah. 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 When Prince dropped 1999. Party like, <laughs> it was yeah. far away. That sounded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we already done past that. Yeah. 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 We, wow. we, so. Yeah. So um, it's it's a different era, it's a different mm. time, mm. but the concept remains the same. Mm. Yes. In other words, I'm saying in, in 2017 we still chopping beats, mm. we still banging out on the keyboards and yeah. the drum machines. Mm. It may sound a little different, mm. the slang might be a little different, yeah. but we still rapping into this microphone. Yeah. 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 You know, we still having rap shows and concerts and new artists are coming out every day yes the technology is different mm-hmm. but the it's con- still the it's still a basic um platform yo that, i was looking that you at gotta follow i was looking at um it was last night yo i had this this documentary for the longest i, I just need time to look stop and look at things in in full tom dowd and the language of music it's a documentary about tom dowd was the engineer for atlantic mm-hmm. and he he like he inspired all of these um, brand new techniques for engineering and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aretha Franklin to what year is this? Wilson Pickett. Oh, yo, he was there. He was at Atlantic from the beginning era, from wow. like Ray Charles and. You're talking about the fifties, sixties, yeah. fifties. But one of the things that he said is a documentary documentary they made on him before he died. But one of the things he said was that what I just said the the technology. Mm-hmm is different and he was sitting in front of the board they was demonstrating he was pushing the flying faders Mm -hmm. where you press push one fader up and all the rest of the faders go up with him and he was saying the technology is different he said but the concept of music is still the same completely it's still the same and and with that said i would like to also say that's why let's not lose the love for music because let me tell you something the concept of a song, a piano, a bass mm-hmm. guitar, a rhythm guitar, drums, strings, horns, <laughs> that's not going nowhere. Whether it's technology or live, yeah, it's not yeah, going nowhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, you got the most electronically recorded records that win, and at the Grammys, how do they perform it? With live instruments. Live yeah. instruments. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So... So, and my thing has been, it doesn't matter if it's live or sampled. Yo, man, let's preserve that sound, that man. That music. That, I want to yeah, hear yeah. some funky basses, <laughs> some kicks and some snares, some oh. chopping, you did, know. Did you, speak of documentary. That, that music that goes right through there. you like water. You feel it, the man. You like, of it. <laughs> this right here ain't for nothing. It, it's like, yeah. <laughs> and it's moving the body on its own. Yeah. yeah, have yeah. You, have, so in documentaries, have you seen the art of organized noise? No, about no. the the Atlanta group um, yeah, organized noise the production dungeon. team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So wh- why what I bring that up is they they talked about for all they <coughs> did for Outkast and Goody Mob and all that. Their biggest hit was Waterfalls. I thought you was gonna say Hey Y'all. Nah, it was Waterfalls for real. Or oh, with TLC. With TLC. What and was that like? That yeah. was um, ten mil. It was like ten million, yeah, thirteen million. Like that. Yeah, diamond, yeah. diamond, yeah. right? Diamond and out. which surpassed them more than any other albums that they've did production on mm-hmm. so for you was was there of out of all your your successes hip-hop wise did was there an r&b or jazz or or a house joint that did 
so surprisingly better than than the hip hop joints you did? Mm. Well, the, the out of everything that I did, I say the thing that sold the most mm. was stuff that I did on the Life After Death mm. Biggie album because we all know that went like Diamond Plus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's probably so, still selling now. Now oh. I wonder if that was because of the two records. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to add that extra record on. So yeah, because double, double. Okay. But however, that life after death, going back to Cali and mm-hmm. I love the Doe featuring mm-hmm. Jay Z and. Mm-hmm. and did, uh, did you and do Lola Sky's Bush. the Limit? No, nah, no. Nah. Oh, okay, I, that was see. That's some of the I stuff people say. I believe Clark Kent did that. Did that? Okay. That's Brooklyn. Uh, mm-hmm. That's Brooklyn right there. Piece mm-hmm. of Clark, Clark Kent. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. You go. The there originals. You go. <laughs> One yeah. of the originals. Yeah, yeah. So you did um. Um, the double the, the double CD. So if it, if it sells five million, that's technically ten. Yeah, that's the way it worked out with with double album. Oh wow! Because mm. you got that. that extra record in there. Mm. To this day, now it will be what CD or. Mm. Mm. And then when and when CDs is done, what do you call it? A MP3? Yeah, a double MP3. Double MP3. <laughs> double stream. <laughs> double double stream. Two streams. Two, two streams. streams. <laughs> However, that's how it, that's okay. How, that's how it works out. And um, from the from the you know DJ, I mean not the DJs, the the producers that you know that be that are so successful, right? You know the the Neptunes, the the Premiers, the um Dre's. I, I can't. I was I was guessing. But you tell me, and I don't know. I don't want you to give away the secret sauce. But every producer has a signature in them. I don't know if it's on purpose. I don't know if it's what they're trying to do to market themselves. But I didn't necessarily hear a signature sound from all the stuff that you've done. Yeah, I was actually gonna br- t- touch base on. Oh, it if you could, he's a producer as well. There's four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah. So you you notice that there's not a. I'm it, thinking it, I it, hear something in some in some. In some instances, like you can hear, like it's it's kind of like coming from him, but mm. then he'll have a song that is just switch totally up different. And then I thought I well, thought, well, thought it was the piano. Well, we only got four minutes, so yeah. I'll say people have said that it's my bass. But then when you go from like a flavor in your ear to mm. straight ball and Tupac, mm. mm-hmm. right? But the 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 ability for me to chameleon like that is from my, the love of all of the records that I have. Uh, uh, the, the yeah. love of music. So when you love that many records, your style can change too. And I was because uh, you love house, you love reggae, you love. Uh, got a, a, a slow jam. I just can't stay away. Alicia Myers, like, why are you listening to that? I love it all. Mm-hmm. So you adapt and you chameleon and to mm-hmm. all these different things. So mm-hmm. The bass though would probably be the, the, the bass. The signature nice. people have said <coughs> that is your that's probably your signature. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do you did you love the bass as a kid? Where, where that that where that bass feeling come from? Yo, it's the out in the park syndrome. Mm. That speaker in your ear. Yeah, hey, Mo, Mo, man. Mo, 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 <laughs> black, do, you, do, you, do you play the bass or, or do you have like a, a dude coming through for the bass? Uh, I've had live bass players, but mm. but no, I don't. I don't play guitar. Mm. I'm gonna take up um, playing some instruments. I always want to play guitars. By the way, guitar is my favorite instrument. Wow. Mm. Okay. Look, guitar is funky, man. Just boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom. I just want to hold boom. it. I just want to hold it. There you go. He that got pimp. it. He was going to pimp. Is that a, is that a guitar? <laughs> that pimp. Yeah. Pimp. Yeah, oh man. man. Listen to everything remains raw. Almost everything I hear, you always hear guitar. Yeah, so <laughs> like, I love guitars. Mm. Yeah. That's, That's crazy. Sweet. So I know we got four minutes. Easy Mo B. Had four minutes. Two, have two minutes <laughs> <down>. <laughs> Thanks for coming hey, by. You Obviously, staying you in know time. we could do this all day. We could shut this yeah. down. <laughs> and we would love to have you come back. Do, you do a, a quick, p- um, real quick, mm-hmm. before it goes into promo real quick. Did you know today was uh, Global Hip Hop Global Hip Hop Day? Uh, no, I didn't. You see, yeah. there's something wrong with that. Yeah. There's something yeah. wrong with that. We yeah. need to change that. I think there's, there's something somebody, wrong with that. I should know. Why not the, why not key, that said it key. But but key people should be appointed. Appointed. should know should, should know I'm yeah know should be invited it. should be invited or I tell you I saw it on Lisa Everson if I'm not mistaken is it was some chick from from the other station that uh, Jazzy mm-hmm. Joyce used to work at yeah um, I'm not sure exactly who it is she what's is. her name but I think she started the whole thing T- I think it's T T Torres mm-hmm. something like that I, I can't remember she's a DJ but, but we got we got we got about one and a half minutes left now I know you're on the countdown what what are you working on now what are you what are you looking to get into well. Mm-hmm. I just partnered into um, my tunes digital distribution. Mm-hmm. Shout to Sun J, mm-hmm. my partner. Shout to 
shout to my boy Serge, mm -hmm. Serge Knight. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing something um, as far as distribution goes that um, well, I'm stepping into the distribution game just yeah, a, a right. little bit more than than producing. I'm I went from making records to now I want to you know pave the way and make it possible for other people to put out records. Y'all will begin to see us putting stuff out that I didn't even work on. Mm. If I like your music and you want to sign in to the distribution, mm. you're welcome to do so. Mm. It's an opportunity for people to put out records, wow. put out music, mm. you know. I'll That's have good. my stuff on there too, but I want other <laughs> people to have opportunities too to, mm. Mm. you know. Nice. The next, the next Easy Mo B. Right, yeah. and he'll 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 probably switch his name up, and it'll be like smooth instead of instead of cool and easy. It'll be smooth mo t smooth mo t. <laughs> but yeah, we appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks for coming out, man. Thank you. Um, we about to do some hip hop, um, some Pick, promos, promos and, pictures, and picks. The hip hop point of view. Easy I enjoyed this, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Good talk. Good talk. Absolutely. We should have came yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> this would have yeah, been part two. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah